Hey guys, this is Steven. Uh, this is episode uh, 20, I think, of my Let's Play series, Minecraft with Steven. You are hearing me on crystal clear audio for my brand new Logitech G35 headset. It's the fourth headset um, that I've gone through for this in order to find the perfect one. Anyways, today's episode is viewer challenge number three, I think. Let me double check that. Anyways, this challenge is brought to you by a gentleman named Silly Punk D. So you can thank him for this. And a lot of people suggested this, but Silly Punk D had the most well thought out and thoroughly uh, put together suggestion of it. So if you suggested this, sorry, I'm not giving you credit, but typing me three words isn't, you know, all that great. Anyways, let me turn my render distance down for this. Great, that's useful, guys. Um, let's see here. Let turn the sound down here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so the random number generator is right here. Um, this is my 16-bit computer, so we'll just be looking at the left half right now, which is these two numbers. And the numbers are in hexadecimal, so this isn't 35, it's actually uh, 53, because this is equal to 48, 3 times 16. And this on the right is equal to 5. So let's go look at how I did it. It's not super creative, but it works very, very well. I've been watching it for quite a while, and I'm pretty impressed with the results. Uh, anyway. Kids will be kids, am I right? So these are our basic modules right here. Uh, what I took was Etho's uh, random cactus logic design, which is this bottom part here. It's just a cactus block surrounded by pressure plates with a sign to pop uh, pop off the top block, and then it falls down randomly in one of these nine places, which lights up a random piece of redstone. And I have four of them. So for each one of these, if it's off like this, it represents a zero, and if it's on like this, it represents a one, which I feed into my decoder. I'll show you over here how I did that. So I have eight of these total, so we can generate an 8-bit number which gives us um, something between 0 and 255. So uh, our maximum number we can do is, is 255. Anyways, so you can see when the line is on, we can follow it. I hooked it up to one of the binary inputs of the decoder. And this decoder converts it to decimal and then to 7 segment, so it shows up on the monitor over there. The only downside with this is uh, sometimes it can take a little while for the numbers to change because the cactuses have to despawn fully. So if you want to generate a fully random number, what you can do is go in and pick up all the cactus by killing these glass blocks. I made three layers of this because one takes too long to make a number, and it's not very likely that you'll have more than one of these on at a time. So, you know, it's not truly random because it's not very likely that you'll have the number zero or any of the first very low numbers because maybe anything between zero and, and eight is kind of unlikely because of how many cactus blocks are dropping but for the intermediate numbers it's very very random again it's not likely that you'll see 255 because that would take all of the pressure plates uh having a number on it so now we're on 37 which is 48 plus 7 so 55 so it's changed slightly because one of the blocks was replaced with a different one so my recommendation with this is uh wait about five minutes before you check the number. So if you're doing a lottery or a contest, don't take two numbers within five or 10 minutes of each other, or they're not gonna be very different. See, now it's 27, so that's uh, two times 16, which is 32 plus seven, so we have 49. So the number's just changing. I've seen it go as high as 250 before, which I was pretty thrilled to see. Um, yeah, very simple, very elegant. No complicated redstone except for displaying the answer, but we could just as easily look at the lines over here to figure out our answer. This number right here is our, uh, or wait, no, sorry, it's over here. This is the smallest number, and this is the larger number. It's really simple. Uh, at first, I was kind of intimidated by this challenge because I was going to make some kind of crazy redstone or mechanical thing with minecarts and stuff, kind of like uh, DocM did. But I like this. I have never really seen a good application of the random cactus logic besides making a uh, 
a changing maze. So stacking these up, turns out, is a really cool way to do this. And uh, it's, it's pretty random. So I'm not going to show you in depth how to build this. Um, and I can't give you the save file because it's on the server. But it's really easy. If you go to Etho's channel, I'll link you to the video that he talks about. He shows you how to build this. All I did was I stacked them up on top of each other. And just make sure there's nothing blocking the pieces from falling. It's really easy. Anyway, uh, I want to give you a brief overview of what's coming next. Uh, I have two videos that I'm working on right now, and I haven't decided which one will be done first. Uh, I took a lot of people's advice, and I'm doing the stick anim stick man animation. So it's going to be a dancing or walking stick man using my, uh, my, what we'll call my graphics driver that lets me make animations. So like the smiley face thing I did. And then the next one is going to be a, uh, a tic-tac-toe game on the server, but first I'm going to build it in single player so I can give you the save file, because I know a lot of people want to play with that. And it's not going to be very good because I'm kind of doing it from the ground up myself. I know that Harbinger has a really good one, but I don't want to look at his because I don't want to kind of ruin my, my creativity. I'd like to keep it very genuine. So what you're seeing is going to be completely come up, uh, you know, in my head. And the hard part really on that is getting the X and the O to display on the same area so like you have you know a, a three by three area for example where an x and an o have to display it's really hard to select those because uh, typically i like to hook up all the segments together you know or all the torches in the segment so you know we'll see how it goes i'm kind of interested to see uh, what happens with it but yeah this this was kind of on the simple side for the challenge. Uh, really the hard part would be making it hook up to a number, but I've shown many times that that's easy to do, and you can check out the Xbox Nuts 7 segment display tutorial. I still swear by it, it is the best one out there. Yeah. So, uh, another announcement, let's see. Um, the MC3C, the Minecraft Triple Commentary series, now has its own channel that you should subscribe to. Uh, the YouTube name is MC3Com. Okay, so MC, the number three, and then C-O-M. Because MC3, C, the name is taken by a guy who's been sitting on it for like seven years and hasn't posted in that long. Jerk. So message him and tell him he's a jerk. <laughs> but, uh, and then, let's see. Let's see. So, thank you, Infrared, for letting me film on your server. Um, check out my brother's channel. He made a piano using note blocks. That's really cool. You can play songs on it and stuff. Uh, and if you watch his video you might get to hear my voice because I was sitting right behind him because uh, I was at his house. Yeah. But yes, thank you for watching. Keep your suggestions and challenges coming and I will continue to very handedly defeat them or let them defeat me. Either way, keep them coming. Thank you and goodbye.